Hello, I'm Andy Thompson from Yetter Manufacturing, uh, Colchester, Illinois. I've uh, been uh, making farm equipment uh, for 84 years now. Strip till really, it, it's not just a pass in the field, it, it's a mindset. It's, it's an organizational method for your farm. And that's why at Yetter, we don't just build a row unit. Uh, we don't just build a strip till equipment. We share that mindset. Yeah. Many people are going to have different definitions of strip till. Um, <clears throat> we, we actually start with the agronomic um, you know, benefits of strip till. Um, and then we take it from there. Uh, today, <clears throat> you actually can see behind me here, um, we actually build the, uh, the Yetter Maverick HR Plus unit. Uh, but that is not our only unit. Uh, not only do we offer that unit with a lot of adjustability to it, uh, we also, uh, we, we can put uh, blades on there instead of a knife. So we, with the vertical tillage attachment, which then actually will allow you, instead of running the knife, just running blades there for your strip till equipment. Uh, we've actually also introduced um, a strip freshener. It's a different tool. Uh, if you've already running strip till, if you're looking to just freshen up strips in the spring, um, you know, that's going to be a little bit more cost effective just to be able to freshen the strips. So, like I said, we don't build just the, the, the one thing for strip till. Even some of our other uh, items that we build, like the planter attachments, uh, spike closing wheels, um, residue managers, fertilizer coulters, uh, the stock devastators for your combines, uh, these are all things that really go hand in hand with the strip till. We've actually been building strip till equipment for over 20 years now. Um, in fact, uh, the first small production of strip till equipment from Yetter was in 1994. So it's been 20 years ago. Uh, 1999, uh, so 15 years ago, we introduced the, the Maverick unit, the first Maverick unit. And that Maverick unit has evolved um, over time uh, to our current model that we call the Maverick HR Plus. Uh, it's, uh, like I said, it's, it's kind of evolved over time there. And even, even before that, we were, we were working back in the 80s, Yetter was working with um, growers where really the strip till was, was, was first designed or first made where you were just using the regular anhydrous shank, making your strips and then planting back onto that. Today we kind of refer to that more so as indexing your fertilizer, but it was in the late 80s when we actually started working with farmers doing that. Well, everyone's goal, especially in farming, but, but really any company, everyone's goal is to produce the most product with the least amount of cost. Um, we want to return on every dollar that we spend. And, and strip till, it's not just a controlled comparison. You don't just um, stop one pass or stop three or four passes in the field, just start strip tilling, and then leave everything else the same. Um, <clears throat> really, to get complete success of strip till, uh, you have to realize that every input and every pass in your field, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have a, regardless of your operation, it's going to have an effect on the product in the field. So to understand that and embrace that is a challenge, uh, but, it, but it certainly is imperative to the success of strip till. We understand that. Um, we, we certainly, in all of our products that we design, we understand that, and we really try to assist the farmer in understanding that. Uh, here at this event, we, you know, we've been able to talk not just about a strip-till product, but really helping people understand that transition into strip-till.